Hello. Today we're going to prepare an image in black and white that we will insert into a sketch that we're going to paint later. I've opened my image that I scanned previously. It's a DIF file. As you can see, the rectangle didn't come quite correct. So I'm going to use my marquee tool to choose a rectangle that I want. And I'm going to crop away what I don't want. So I go under Image, Crop, and that's the new sketch. Now I'm going to change the size. So I'm going to go to Image Size. As you can see on the resolution, I'm going to put 600, so we have 600 dpi. That changes the scale already, so the width is 6.7 inches and the height is 10.7 inches, which is a pretty good size to go on 11 by 17 background. I'm going to say OK to that. It gets larger. Now I can actually um, zoom out a little bit so it's smaller and I'm ready to start doing the work. Go back to image. In this case, I'm going to go to adjustments and I'm going to adjust the levels. Okay. What I can do with this is I can make the outline darker or lighter. I want to be somewhere maybe on the darker side just past the middle. But now I'm going to use this white leveler to clean the background and to make the lines a little thinner. That's about what I want to be because I don't want to make these lines too thin. Now I'm going to say OK. So that's my new sketch. I'm going to save it. Okay, I'm going to call it X1 black and white 2. Okay. Black and white 2. It goes into my same folder that I've created before where I'm keeping all my black and white sketches. Yeah, RGB, Mac, etc. Okay. Now, I'm going to be working with this particular drawing to create a silhouette. In your computer, you're going to have a layer box. I'm going to duplicate this layer by right clicking and I'm going to call it the silhouette layer. And I say OK. So now I have a layer 0, which is my background, and a layer 1, which is my silhouette. I can actually hide layer 0 by closing this little eye in here. OK? Because I'm going to work only on the silhouette layer. I'm going to use the magic wand symbol, which looks like a magic wand. I'm going to click on the background. As you can see, the outline doesn't leak into the custom. If it did, I would have to find where the leakage is and close that line. And now I'm going to use click delete and delete the background. Oh, see what happened here? So that means I have leakage in this particular area. So I'm going to go back. You can even go back in your particular history, or you can go under edit and set on undo state change. Okay. I'm going to go to my marquee tool and double click to stop the magic wand. And now I'm going to zoom out, view, zoom out, actually view, zoom in. to see where in that particular arm we have a problem. Okay, I move the image. Oh, I see a tiny opening here. I don't know if you can see it. So view, zoom in, it's right here. So I'm going to use my eyedropper, pick that particular grid that I'm using. I'm going to pick a brush right there. Make sure that it's really small. I'm going to make it try 7. And I'm just going to draw that line. You can also make sure that uh, the opacity should be 100%. All right, so I'm trying to close that. It looks like it's closed now. I don't see any more openings. Any tiny opening could create a problem. So now I'm going to zoom back in. Actually, I should zoom out. <laughs> you can also press Command minus and it can become smaller. And I'm going to place my image back where I want it so I can see it. I'm going to use my magic one again, click the background. It looks like it worked fine this time. I'm going to delete that background. It's clean, so I have everything. Now I'm going to press the Shift key. So I can add other areas that I also want to delete. Okay, and I'm going to press delete. 
uh, no, I don't want content aware. Uh, once you have chosen all your areas, you stop pressing the shift key. Otherwise, you get that little uh, interface box asking you if you want to do content aware, which you do not want to do. I'm going to press delete now. All those areas have been cleared up. Now I'm going to go to my marquee tool and double click there. Great. So that's my silhouette image. Now I want to create a new document, new, and I want it to be the width is 11, the height is 17, and the resolution is 600. All set. So this is going to be my, I'm going to call it Eliant color. Okay. One. Okay. So there it is. Now I have two tabs. I'm going to back to the other tab, use my magic wand, click on the background, and I can go to select inverse. So instead of selecting the background, selecting the image itself. Now I'm going to go on the edit and say copy. So I copy that silhouette. I'm going back to Elian Color, which is my 11 by 17 document. I go to edit, paste. There she is. It's too small for the paper. I'm going to make it bigger. So you can go there image or under edit, depending on what number of Photoshop you have. You're going to look for free transform. I'm going to click on free transform. That opens the, the drawing. And I'm just going to make it bigger. I'm trying to keep the shape, of course. My actors. So there we go. And I'm going to center in the page. That gives me no room to have a title, to have a key, to add swatches later. So that's about the proportion that I want. I'm going to say yes to that. Double click. It's saved. And this becomes my layers in the new, in the new paper. As you can see, that's the background. And this is my silhouette. We'll continue to work with some other tools, but this is how you set up your black and white layered drawing to paint with Photoshop. One more thing to check, you want to go under uh, mode and make sure that it's not on grayscale, but it's actually an RGB color to make sure that you can paint. If it's in grayscale, you will only get black and white and gray. So you want it to be RGB color. And that's it. Save. It goes into my folder. OK. OK. There we go. And now we're ready to paint. See you in the next one. Thank you.